Right, so you got your iPhone 5, right? And you're so pleased and you're all excited and you can't wait to play with it, right? And then you plug it in, you charge it up, and then you start noticing that the power's dropping like a hooker's knickers on a Saturday night. Quickly, in other words. So, what's the problem? Well, you're not alone. Thousands of people are having the same trouble, and I'm really pissed off that Apple hasn't publicly addressed the problem, but it's a simple fix, okay? If you set it up initially by backing it up to your iPhone 4 or 4S, for example, that's where the problem is. And the AT&T guy told me that's how I should set my phone up. He said, just back it up, do a backup of your 4 and then, you know, put everything into the 5. Well, that means the five's getting stuff that it shouldn't get. And the processor, I guess, gets confused or whatever. So, the simple fix is restore the phone. Do a factory reset, plug it into iTunes, and set it up as a new phone, all right? And then you'll notice a huge, huge improvement. I mean, then it's as good as the, the keynote speech says it is, which is really quite good. Um, I gave my 4 and my 5 a 100% charge two nights ago. And eight hours later, after I'd unplugged them, eight hours later, the 5 had lost about 8 nine percent overnight not being used and my old four was still sitting happy at three four percent only loss so that was kind of a it's good if you've got your old one you know you can kind of do the comparison of how much is leaching how much power is being lost you know compared to the old one and then what you do is you restore right and then you do the same thing again, about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, whatever, give them both 100%, unplug them both, and then when you get up in the morning, then look. And this morning, I was very pleased to see, after doing the restore yesterday, that my iPhone 5 had only lost 1% of power while it was sitting there doing nothing for eight hours, whereas the old 4 had lost about three, I think. So, it's a simple fix, possibly a little time consuming if you have a lot of shit, a lot of pictures and stuff like that you want to get, but just don't do a backup of your iPhone 4 to your 5, because it's like telling a Ferrari it's a diesel truck, okay? Simple fix, don't worry about it, it'll work.